Okay? Thank you for joining us. So this is a message to our people from the East. Though Nigerians always use the name Igbo. So I use that very name, Igbo, to address this very matter. But it concerns everybody from the East. Then I remain the fearless of the evangelist Mazamara Chungachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is now Nenri. And here is a local government in Ojiriva province, Biafra land. I am a honor broadcast on the IPOB. Nandikan is our leader. And he is still incarcerated in this solitary confinement, illegally detained. So this message goes to our people from the East. And the topic is that our problem is different from the problem of Nigerians. That is to say, automatically, we are not against the protest of Nigerians over their condition. But we are not involved. What is troubling them is not what is troubling us. We have presented our demand. We have protested and been killed. We are still protesting in different manners. And we are still being killed. Now, we have protested against Ibubag. We did not call Yoruba people to protest in Lagos. Should we call the Yoruba people to join us when we were protesting that the governors from the East recruited militias? Some are from Yoruba people, some are from the North. They joined and became Ibubag. Then they started killing citizens in the place where they call South East, which IPOB defied. The southeast and south south we have IPOB, right? So now, the people from this side started agitating, um, protesting. Anambra protested against the Bubago. Eboy protested against the Bubago killings of citizens. Imo still protested against the Bubago. Abia still protested against the Bubago. Enugu still protested against the Bubago. Why is it that people from Kaduna did not start protesting? Because Nigerian citizens in the East are protesting against militia Ibubago that is killing them. Why was it that Yoruba people did not protest in Ondo, protest in Ogun, protest in Ibadan, protest in Oshogo, against, to join the people from the East? Because here is the part of Nigeria. To protest against the Bubago militia, you cannot protest. Why is it that when we call for the removal of checking point, that Yoruba people will not protest against checking point in the eastern part of Nigeria? Why is it that the northern people does not protest against checking point in the eastern part of Nigeria as they claim? Because we know here is not part of Nigeria. The operations of the army shows that here is not part of Nigeria. The army and the police, they operate here as a conquered land. They operate here as a land designed to, to exterminate the livings. They invade here as a land that they have conquered. They never come here and investigate for crime. Rather, any community or any place they come to, everybody there becomes victim. Everybody there becomes criminal. It is not a way to operate in a territory that is under your control. It is a way to operate in a conquered land or a land that is yet to be conquered. That is how Nigerian security agencies operate in our land. If criminal carry any action in any part of our land, Nigerian army will occupy three local governments surrounding those areas, and everybody living there becomes victim. Whether children, whether mothers, whether age, anybody will become victim. So here is not part of Nigeria. We know how security agencies operate in the area that belongs to them. They go for the corporate, they go for the criminal, they do not see everybody as criminal, but to us, because we are not part of Nigeria, they come here as a land that they have determined to take. Now you know. So now, when they charged Mazen Amdekano in court for NSAS, did the Nigerian youth who started NSAS protest? No. Did they go to the Attorney General office and say, no, we are the people who carried on NSAS. We started it in Ugeli and it ended up in Lagos. Did you hear it from them? No. When when Nigerian states 
disobey court order that are discharged in Amkano. Did the Nigerian youth uh, 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 agitate and um, protest? No. They did not protest. They welcomed it. They said, let him be there. We are asking you. When we talk about seaport, did the Yoruba people protest? Hey, let the man have seaport now. Did the Northern protest? So our problems are not the same with them. When they were demolishing our properties in Lagos, did the Yoruba people protest? No, they welcomed it because that is part of their problem. That is part of their problem. The only way to solve a problem in Nigeria is to make people from the east to cry, to be in pain. If you want to become righteous, if you want to be, to be seen, to be noticed, and to be seen as a good citizen from Nigeria, because where we see as Nigeria is the Yoruba land and the north, you must wicked an Igbo man. You must kill an Igbo man. You must make Igbo man to cry. Remember, the Igbo I'm calling is a name they use to represent all of us from the east. So when I call Igbo, do no mistake, because the punishment is against the easterners. But they use the name Igbo to cover it up. So that others will say we are not among. But the Yoruba man was stopped from voting because he resembled Igbo. So who does the PPO man resemble? If a Yoruba man or a disabled Igbo, who does his own man resemble? If a Yoruba man was stopped from voting in Lagos because he resembled Igbo, so who will a Gala man resemble? Who will he get a man resemble? ABC, <laughs> that is the giving Nigerians bad governance are the people that are organizing protests for you to deceive you to calm you down small time they will scatter so that you cannot carry on a very good revolution that is how they do the same way they do they did in your election today you want to involve us after they rigged your election they know that you will be angry they now called Obasanjo and called him. Now you know you are a tenada. So you, you have to be supporting them. Support the youth. Support OP2B. Begin to voice out so that you can take at least the voice of 20 million Nigerians. So that 20 million Nigerians will come down because of your voice. So it will remain few that will be talking. So people will hope on your voice. So when Obasanjo came and spoke, I came with the brokers and said, this people, why? Why is it that this is not for IPOP? Because we have gotten the answer. What is Obasanjo who tore his PDP ticket to lift to present Buari? Now Buari have killed people, and Buari was not there. Obasanjo was there. Impostors conducted the election and raped in the person they want. And when it want to cause trouble, they called Obasanjo and said, start aiming your voice. So he started talking. And Nigeria said, yes, Obasanjo is out. Hey, Obasanjo is about to be to be. I was like, I said, fools. No wonder you don't reason. You only cry for your belly, for your stomach, what you eat. That's why you want to protest, because of food, because you don't reason. Obasanjo was there. When he talk, you will seize your voice. You will seize your action. You keep it below behind him. And you will say, hey, he's not speaking for us. They will be coming, your voice is down. It will remain few. And when they know it has sinked, they now go and give the judgment in Supreme. Did you hear from Ambassador again? After Supreme judgment, because they allowed you for six months so that they will settle the matter. We are asking, when... Oh, Mike was killing us in Obibu. Does the Nigerians call for protest? You want to go and join Nigeria in their protest over Nigerian problem? Is Nigerian problem our problem? Our demand is referendum. We are slaves in Nigeria. But this Yoruba and the North, they are protesting over what their government is doing to them. They are Nigerian citizens. So they have the right to protest against their government. 
that we have the right to protest against the Nigerian government on what they are doing to us, not just like that, we have an option. We say we want to do referendum. Let us confirm if we are Nigerians. Because what we are seeing means we are not Nigerians. So, does it mean that the seaport should be in Lagos? So, when the Easterners call for seaport, the Lagos, Yoruba people will not protest. The Northerners will not protest. When we kick it, I will be um, kill Igbos, kill Igbos, Nigerian citizens. You know, you claim now that we are your citizens. Okay, we kill a governor, kill Nigerian citizens, and say that the people could do answers. Did you protest? Did you protest in the north? Did you protest in the in, in the in the Yoruba land? No, you did not protest. When Igbo people was protesting against the Bubak. Why did you not come and claim that you are Nigerian citizen? Why did you not protest? Why did you not join Anambra people in your state? Why Enugu was protesting against the Bubak? That Nigerian government is supposed to hear from them and say, ah, ah, how can we allow governor to recruit militias that to be killing citizens? And this militia they call a Bubak we dictate a Yoruba man that is a member of a Bubago. Not an Asfulani, are members of Bebago. They were recruited to kill us. And we protested against it, and Yoruba people was quiet. Because they don't value us as Nigerians. So, why did they call you now to join them in protest? Do you have the same problem with them? Do you have the same problem with Yoruba people? Do you have the same problem with the Aosa people? Do you have the same problem with the Fulani? The problem of Fulani is your land. So Fulani, if they want to protest, they should protest for Ruka. The problem of the Northerners is Fulani oligarchy. That is the main Aosa and the other tribes. If they want to protest about their problem, let the Northerners protest against Fulani. Who have been killing them and bringing new people from other, state, other countries to replace them in their communities. If Yoruba people want to protest, let them protest against their brothers who have been in power since 2019, uh, since 2009. That is where their whole problem is because they plan with the Northern to exterminate us. So they should take their problems back home. When they discuss the massacring of our people, the starving of our people to death, do they remember us? Do they come to us in? Do they come to us in? They now want to count you in in, in, their, in their voting, in their, in their protest. Chineke bo kwa hoku. Asi chineke bo onu hoku. You can only protest with somebody that have the same problem with you. The problem of Nigerians are different by different. People should not carry on their own problem and they uh, call you to come and help them. People that have problem of hunger. Is our problem hunger? Our problem is that they are killing us in our land. And they are forcing us to be Nigerians. And the Nigerian citizens who claim that we are their fellow citizens, they are supporting their government to exterminate us. So what is the ground of any Nigerian citizen to call people from the East to join them to protest against their government that they have been supporting against the Easterners? The citizens of Nigeria aided their suffering. So why are they calling you? Do we have the same problem with them? The problem of Yoruba is Obasanjo, Osibanjo, and uh, Tinubu. You have, your problem is very clear. So why are you calling the woman? Do we make you hungry? All of you conspire to keep us hunger. So if the hunger, you are feeling hunger, you go back to your people. It does not have, because we have no belly food, we are still angry. But our tears no longer come out. We have cried for years, we still crying. So our tears are dry. So it's because you don't see our tears. That's why you call us to join your protest. It's, it's your bargain, my, it's the foolish. Did the Yoruba people protest against the demolition of Igbo property in Lagos? 
They, 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 they forced Tinubu because they did not vote Tinubu. They forced Tinubu to be in charge. And they, if the gambo they play fair them, they will be calling me. Did I join them in their gambo? Did I join them in their gambo? People that are very, very wicked. Yoruba people and the not. Very, very wicked people. You will be seeing what your government is doing to people. You want them to be the same citizens with you. Even if your government hates us because of what they are getting, you that is citizens, you are the one who is aiding your government, giving them every support to deal with us. And you think the world is your own. We have, we have, we know it is our, we are to suffer, but we must free our people. You see, all of you, you will suffer with this thing you sponsor, you call government. This thing you call your country. You must enjoy it. You see your slave, you'll be threatening us. Hey, you remain our slave. You remain, you that is illegal ruling us. So you call us to come and join you in protest. Are we your fellow citizens? Are we Nigerians? We are Nigerians. First of all, protest against checking point in our land. Protest, don't mention anything happening in the north or Yoruba land. First of all, because first come, first serve. Or, or, uh, uh, what is it called? War against the discipline, Buari, 1983. Then 1984. War against the discipline. First come, first serve. Let all of you protest against the wickedness of our people. By Nigerian state. By you, the citizens. Because had the Nigerian citizens countered their government against what they are doing to us, they will not continue. But they convince you with lies to hate us. You hated us with a passion. You hate us. You think the world is your choice. The world is your own. Inherit your world. Enjoy your world. Allow us in our suffering. Enjoy your government. Don't involve us. Our problem is not the same with you. Our problem is not the same with you. We do not belong to the same compound with you. So if your father is offending you, go back to your compound and settle your matter. We are slaves in Nigeria. Slave does not meet with the owners of the house. We don't have the same meeting with you. Slaves does not eat with you. We are slaves. That is why our structure can be destroyed in any part of Nigeria. Our businesses can be destroyed. We can be tormented. We can be tortured. We can be killed. And still they sent them to torture us here, kill us. They still, they sent army, they sent police to be killing us upon their taking our resources. What are you protesting? Are you protesting because they took your coal? I want to know what a Yoruba man is protesting. Did the Nigeria sell your crude oil? They took our crude oil, they use it to feed you. So if they did not give you food, you have endurance, they will give you. Don't call me to protest because you stole from me. Yorubans did not You stole my resources. You are not telling me you are hungry. Are you mad? Are you foolish? You stole my resources. You keep me hunger. Small time. You, you tell me you are hungry. Hungry for what? what? Why should I join you? Why should I join you? Am I part of your citizen? You that sponsor your government. Both body language. But everything, you aided them to continue to suffer us, to continue to kill us, and you think we are your fellow citizens. Wickedness will never miss, will never depart from your houses. You will suffer. Even if they share all of you, one, one million, as Nigerians, you will continue to suffer. All of you conspire. The people I hate in Nigeria is their citizens. Not their government. People who carried on answers. They were there, Nigeria charging American for answers. These very wicked Nigerians. These very evil Nigerian citizens. You are not telling me to join you in your problem. You that is stealing my resources, enjoying it, punishing me, killing me, backing up your government to suffer me, destroying my properties in your land, killing me, exterminating us from our land, sending army. If you see army, they send them our land, and you'll be clapping. You'll be clapping. You will not ask your government, is there any war here? If they bring blackmail and say, I feel me, yes, and do this, you will clap. 
You will not say, oh, but this is our fellow citizens. Let us find a way to settle it. You will not. You will support your government if you are eating your info you planted. Eat it very well. Enjoy your info. Enjoy the injustices you plotted. Don't call us. Don't ever call us in APC protest. APC organized a protest to call it Igbo protest. All of you Nigerian citizens, you will continue to suffer. If Nigeria like, let them share you one, one, uh, one, ten, ten million each, you will suffer. You, you eat from our resources. You never have good mind to tell your government to stop killing us. You are info. You support your government to kill us. You support your government to keep an American in detention. You support your government to be carrying on injustices on us. Because you are from the north. They told you we are slaves. You did not ask them, what about the resources we are taking? You, you don't see us as human beings. The world is yours. And you are calling me to join you in protest. Let our God punish you. Let the God of Ujuku punish you, you and your protest and your idiocy. Protest Bukwaunu. All of you, go to so well, all of you that are saying it. Go and do your protest. What is our business? Are we against your protest? Do we have the same problem with you? We have been dying for our problem. Go and die for your own. If not, then I have problem in their government of Nigeria because we don't belong to the government. Let them go and challenge their government. If they are, they have something pending them, let them die in fighting for it. We are dying for our own. We are still suffering. We are in detentions. We are set. Let them fight for their thing and go to cell. Let them be killed for what they, is bothering them. They should not link us to their problem. We have not finished our own problem. The armies are here. Anybody they like, they go to the house and kill them. Nigerian citizens in the north and the west, they know they are killing us here. But they are supporting them to kill us. If they send terrorists from Sahel to come and kill us, Nigerian citizens will be clapping for, for terrorists. They will be clapping for them. They are now calling me to join them on protests. People that believe in salary. Do you think we are the same with you? Idiots. You believe in salary, your government does not have a, a, a factory. And if you see them, you support them against us, against independent people. Independent people. If your government born to ashes, will still succeed. Every time you be eyeing us, people that survive under suffering, do you think you can compare yourself with us? If you join them in their protest, you will inherit from their evil. If you are from the East, you join Nigeria citizens in their protest over their problem. But you have never joined IPOB in our protest. You will suffer and your generation will suffer in this life. If IPOB have been protesting and dying for your problem, you never joined us in this very genuine cause. What you do is you are from the East. You will join Nigerians over their own problem to protest in order to put our name in their rubbish, to instigate and attract more killings of our people. Your family will continue to suffer. Whether you are my brother, whether you are my senior brother, if you join Nigerian citizens to protest over their problem, but you have never joined us to protest over our problem, you will continue to suffer. We pro people protested against the Bubago, you will dodge. I will be protest against killings of our people, you will dodge. We protest against injustice, you dodge. If you eventually show up in Nigerian protest that was organized by APC, you, you will suffer. You say that thing you, that you hope on, it will disappoint you. You have failures in your business, in your working place, in your family. You will see dangerous things that will happen to your family. Just go and do it. Go and try. If you if any, any of you were in Gwe 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 here, you were in Gwe 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 here, if you try to claim that our problem is the same with these Nigerians, if their government failed them, they should face their government. Their government is not in charge of us here. They are not ruling us. They don't hear our cry. Tell me a government that will hear, see citizens that protest against militia that was recruited by governors. Why is it that federal government did not intervene? Is it not the duty of federal government to say, 
I ordered the governors to disband everybody. But they recruited them to kill us. Why is it that Yoruba people did not join Enugu people when they were protesting against the Bible? Why is it that the Northerner did not join Abia people while in their Kaduna? If you are in Kaduna, you see Abia protesting against the killings of citizens from Nigeria, from the East. Why didn't you protest in Oshobo? Why didn't you protest in Ogun? Why didn't you protest against Ebubago in Kaduna? Why did you not protest in Jos? Why did you not protest in Oyo? Why did you not protest in Adamawa? Why did you not join? As Abon was protesting against Ebubago, why did you show it? Why did you not join? Why did all these APC agents claiming, why did you not join to fight against Ebubago because you are Nigerians? Because they are killing Nigerians. Let you say it's evil. Hey, they let them kill themselves. Today you want to invite me. In your stupidity, you call protest. Your answers you started in Ogeli entered in Lagos. But they charge you not for answers. Mike killed us for answers. You did not protest in Lagos and say we can stop killing fellow citizens. But your state governor killed us for answers. You did not protest in um, Abu and say, why is the state killing fellow Nigerian citizens? Nigerian army is here killing us. Checking point everywhere. We keep complaining. You never protest in Lagos and say, in this part of Nigeria in the east, why is the army occupying it? All you know is Igbo. God will punish you and that your hatred on Igbo. And the, our anger will be on any of our people that join them. Not even our anger. The angers of our God, the gods of this land. And the cause will be upon them. You will suffer. You will suffer more than the Nigerians for supporting them to solve their own problem that they created by themselves. In the process to exterminate us. Everything Nigeria is getting is as a result of policy against Igbo. The Nigerian government does not care the, what will come back to their citizens. All they know is to punish Igbo. And the policy is turning against their citizens because their citizens were supporting their Nigerian government to be suffering Igbo. And they were supporting every policy that they say is against Igbo. They don't know that they themselves are not living in heaven. As far as it is affecting Igbo, it will affect you most because Igbo have trained themselves before now, knowing that government does not care for us, knowing that we care for ourselves, so we prepare before now. That is why you Nigerians, North and the West, which is Nigeria, you keep suffering it. It is the seed you sowed. You will reap from it. You will never, you will never go free from it. And that is what I have to give on that very side. I will say come up somehow. Very weather today again. This is the second broadcast today, but not this moment. Let me just. Free myself for now. From me, fellas, happy evangelist, my man, I'm And from here, our homeland radio studio here in Biafra land. Thank you.